Hi everyone, it's Emma from Love Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to sew in a zip. It's not as frightening as you think it's going to be, it's actually really simple. And I'm going to take you through the steps. First, what we're going to do is just press the edges of our fabric. Then we're going to secure our zip in place using tape instead of pins. Then I'll show you how to put the zipper foot in your machine and then we're going to sew it and that is it. Okay, so first things first, let's go over to the ironing board. What I'm going to do first is fold this side over and I'm going to press it in place. I'm going to use my thumb as a guide, you can see there, and it needs to be wide enough to take the width of that zip and give us a little bit of seam allowance. So that's just right. Now I'm going to press it like that. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to use my thumb as a guide all the way down like that and then press it in place. And you'll see what that gives us. It's two really nice sharp edges that our zip is going to fit very neatly into, like that. What we're going to do now is secure it to the material and then we're going to sew it. Now I'm going to show you how to secure the zip to your bits of fabric. What I've done is I've put them with the pressed edges facing each other and a little gap in between and you'll see that I've got masking tape here. I'm going to use this instead of a pin. Pins kind of buckle the material whereas if you use tape it keeps it nice and smooth. Now what I've done is I've just placed that zip between those bits of material. I'm going to take my first bit of tape and I'm going to put it just across the bottom there. And that holds the zip in place and the two bits of material and keeps the little bit of seam allowance down as well. Now I'm going to do another one across the middle section of the zip. But I'm not going to tape all the way across the top of the zip because what we'll want to do when we're sewing it is be able to open and close it a bit. Instead, I'm going to put a little bit here and a little bit on the other side, like that. Any low tack tape is good for this. Masking tape's ideal, but washi tape works as well. And what you'll see is, ta-da! It's all held in place with no buckling and it's ready to put in the sewing machine. What we need to do first is change to our zipper foot. So what I'm going to do is just lift up this lever here and press this. You'll see there's a little switch at the back. If we press that, that foot just drops straight out and then we can bring in our zipper foot, which looks like this. This bar here needs to connect into this little groove here and you can connect it on the left or on the right. I'm going to connect mine up on the left hand side. So all you have to do is hold it in place there and then just bring the lever back down and it connects and you'll see as soon as you pick it back up again it's good to go. Now what we need to do is start sewing. What we need to do first before we pop it under our zipper foot is just open that zip up. So we're going to open it like that that's why we put our tape to only about halfway down so we had room to do that. Now we can bring it all the way in and just lower our zipper foot and that is what our zipper foot does. It can get a nice tight line up against that zip. Now I'm just going to sew a little run just in straight stitch. So I'm going to do a few stitches, a little back stitch to secure it and I'm just going to run down to where that zip is. Now I can close that zip up. I'm going to need to just lift that foot up a sec. There we go, and then we can bring it back down and we're going to sew all the way to the end. You'll see I've come just beyond that silver little bottom bit of our zipper. And I'm leaving the needle in the fabric, but I'm going to lift the foot up and turn it around. That means we can sew straight across the bottom there to the other side. Just a few stitches, like that. I'm going to lift my foot up again, turn my material again. And we're just going to sew straight up the other side of that zip, like that. Now 
Now as I get closer to my zip again, I'm going to have to open it. So we'll do a few more stitches and then I'm going to stop and open that zip up. I'm going to lift the foot up, bring the zip down, just past where the foot is, like that. Pop it back down and then we can sew all the way to the end here. Just going to do a couple of back stitches. And then we can bring out our zip. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. You can check out some of our other tutorials or you can look at this one in photographic format if you prefer. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments box below and I will see you on the next one.